Hi, welcome back to Crux Puzzles. Today, we're going to be having a look at Count On Me. So Count On Me, it's also known as Digigrams, is a wooden puzzle. It's designed by UK based Martin Watson and it's created by Creative Craft House of the USA. So this is quite a fun wooden puzzle. It's made up of these wooden digit pieces. So we've got the numbers zero through to nine in these nice wooden pieces. And the aim is to fit them all here within the base. And once you fit them in, you get this nice lattice shape. So they come in two different um, colors here. So um, you've got the, the darker pieces and the lighter pieces and they have, some of them have these notches in so you can see that's where another piece might fit onto it. Um, making this a little bit trickier is the fact that you don't know the orientation of these pieces. It could be this way but it also could be upside down um, and within the frame it, it wouldn't have to necessarily be orientated if we're having a look at the frame this way, it wouldn't have to be orientated that way, it could be this way, that way, um, possibly even that way. So this is a kind of mid-level difficulty puzzle. I would say it's good for beginners looking for a challenge um, or also more intermediate or experienced puzzlers looking for a kind of mid-level puzzle. Um, it's got this nice wooden base here, so this is the base that you're fitting the pieces into and it also comes with this wooden cover so that fits over the top to hold all the pieces in place when you're not using it and when you do want to use it the base fits within that to create this nice area for you to work in. So we've got these available on the website if you do want to check them out I'll leave a link in the description down below for these. We're going to be having a look at the solution for this next so if you don't want to see that I would recommend you stop watching at this point. If you do want to see it stay tuned and we'll have a look at that next. Okay, so let's have a look at the solution for this one. So the first thing to mention is that this base here is not a square, so it's a rectangle. So um, bear in mind that the solution that we're gonna look at, we're gonna want the orientation in the portrait position. So um, just to go over quickly, as I said before, you don't have to have the, the pieces um, readable in the readable, the way you'd have them if you were writing them. They can be any of these things. Also, if you're playing around with this, you're probably going to notice that um, it's, it's a lattice design that you're going for, so you, you're probably going to realise you don't want the pieces kind of squashed together like this. So that gives you some point of reference. But let's have a look now um, at the solution, how that should look. So we're going to have the three in the top left-hand corner. Then we're going to have the zero, so this is a zero. We're going to have that in the top right-hand corner. And one quick thing to note about this is that this piece is not symmetrical, so there's the angled side here and then the flat side there. So you want the angled side over to the right. Then we're going to have the eight down in this corner. And we're going to go for the nine. So the nine and six, although they're different colors, the pieces are the same. Um, so we're going to go for, um, let's put that one in there. Then we've got the one here that comes down in the corner and the seven wants to slot into the zero like this. Then we want a five in there, the four upside down over here, over there. The six in here and finally you have the two slots nicely in the middle and you can see it's got this nice lattice design not completely symmetrical but it's really quite nice to look at quite pleasing displays quite nicely so that is count on me or digigrams you can find this one on the website as i said hopefully you like this video if you did please give it a like it really helps us out and we'll have plenty more puzzling videos in the future so if you want to see more puzzling videos why not subscribe to the channel as well well that's it for today and we'll hopefully see you in the next one